Live from the studios at 5 Eyewitness News, Twin Cities Live is having its best winter yet. Hey everybody, welcome into Twin Cities Live on this Wednesday. We have 90 minutes of food, fashion, fun, and foraging. Foraging? Foraging Foraging or foraging? No, there are times where we probably should go foraging. I would love to. I really want to go foraging. And learn how to go morale. Morel hunting. Is it morel? Morel Morel. Yeah. Because morale is different. Morel. Sometimes I need to search for my morale. Yeah. <laughs> or your your morals. <laughs> Actually, you need to have good morale and solid morals while you search for morale. Okay, that just hurt my brain. <laughs> that hurt my brain. I hurt my brain, Elizabeth Reese. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm doing very well. Good. Thank you. Nice to see you. Good to see uh, you. But where are you taking us forging today? Uh, there's a place called North Star Forge. Um, look, I don't want to give too much away. Okay. It is exactly what it sounds like. It's a forge, and there's fire, there's metal, mm. and we make things, and you make really sharp things as well. Oh! Yeah, it's really cool. You made a machete. We'll find out. Get to see what well, you made. Well, yeah, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Um, I'm also bringing you to Dallas today. Hello, Big mm. Tex, uh, because we are checking out Muska Lighting's newest light fixture picks. We get a really cool behind the scenes look at this massive lighting market that takes place a couple of weeks every year where everyone in lighting goes to pick out the pieces that they think will be great for their showrooms. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really fun. So we're going to get to meet some fun people and see some cool things. Yeah, I couldn't believe when you came back and you showed me the, the overlay map like the overhead map and you're like Wild. well this is where we were and then you're like this is how big the whole thing it's, is it's, and I just cannot believe how big that place was it was very fun and I think it's really fun when you work in that industry and like I'm going to market I know and you get to see all your friends there's all these really cool relationships it was nice I felt like I was part of the crew by the end of it yeah we need to um, we actually need to have some sort of like broadcasters um, expo or there, something I think there are some of those conferences, but you, you know, know, much all the like cool the awards ceremonies, I'm never nominated nor invited. Alas, <laughs> here I stay. Uh, <laughs> but, all, but all like all my cool like tech friends, they go, oh yeah, I'm going to CES West, you know, yeah, Expo like, West, yes, Expo or East. There's one that Jay went to um, and went with some guys in construction, and it's called World of Concrete. Yeah. And it was in Vegas, and it's like I'm going to World of Concrete, and I thought, wow. I mean, how much innovation can you have in concrete every year? I don't know. The but it's a great, I'm sure it's a great time. Mixing ratios. I like those big spinny trucks. Those are always fun. Well, see, that's the thing. We, we probably won't get into a whole lot of it, but when it comes to metal forging and, like, making things out of metal, there's so much science that goes into it. Oh, that's really you don't cool. really think about all the things that mix and, like, oh, this is a different temperature. and Oh, yeah. you can't do that with this. And this is how you make this one stronger. Like, I, I don't know. There's it's all chemistry, you also guys. Also a lot of science and chemistry that goes into baking today. And our friend Jackie Tessing is here. She's mm -hmm. making us three peanut butter desserts because we are celebrating a holy high holiday, everyone. It is National Peanut Butter Day. Wow. Did you know that? I did not know that until today. Yeah. And if you guys saw the live tease, I was trying to say peanut butter. It didn't go great. And I didn't have any peanut butter in my mouth, but it kind of sounded like I did because mm -hmm. I was so excited. So we're going to do a little taste test. With peanut butter, we have five different peanut butters to try. Let's pull those over, huh? Let's pull these we'll over. We'll make some okay. room for bats. Yep. Thanks, Betsy. So um, let's not mix these up. No, we got to have them this way. We have five different yep. peanut butters. We are going to try them. Now, Betsy is going to bring in the, the actual jars so that we can see what we have to choose from. So we've got the options. And then um, we're going to try each peanut butter, and we're going to try to guess... Which, which peanut butter is, is in each jar. And then what will also be fun is that we're going to state our favorite. And I have a feeling that my heart will tell me that I want to choose the most organic, natural one. And then my Ooh, mouth will let tell me, me that I like the like most that. processed, sugary one. Okay. I have a feeling. Let's see. There we go. Okay, Can you guys see all that? All right. You so guys here see are the that? options. GIF. Betsy called it GIF earlier today. <laughs> She's such a millennial. She's like, and you have GIF. <laughs> Skippy. <laughs> Skippy, you know, classic. Justin's, newcomer to the market, but, yeah. you know, really has yeah, taken over the peanut butter. natural stuff. Goober Grape, which I have a feeling we're going to be able to tell which yeah, one that is. Yeah, I think is. we can figure that one out. And that's the gimme. And then Peanut Butter and Co., which I haven't even heard of that one, but it's there it is. Um, okay, so we've so got you a couple get your, spoons. So you get your spoon, Cheers. I'll get my spoon. Cheers. Um, we're just going to taste the same one. This is one. 
Yep. This is two, three, four, five. So just keep. I like how I like how this one's kind of the free space. Well, it's going to be Uber. <laughs> All right, I got to go slow. I can't take a massive bite of this. Did I ever tell you about the time I ate a giant spoonful of peanut butter before going to Target with my dad, and then I threw up on the checkout lady? And then the most embarrassing part of that story is that I threw up all over the checkout counter and the person, and she's looking horrified, and my dad was wearing like a flannel shirt and like a, you know, white, classic white tank sure. top underneath. Yeah. And the most embarrassing part of the whole thing for me was that my dad took off his flannel shirt to use it to mop up the vomit. Well, that's a classy move. There's a lot of people that wouldn't do that. They would just be like, can we get someone to clean this up? So why did you throw up, though? I don't know. There was something. I was walking through Target, and I was like, Dad, I don't feel that good. And he was like, just deal with it. <laughs> you know? This is the 80s. Yeah. You Dads didn't, didn't care. No, you got you got things to do in Target. Yeah, it's just but you're not going. you're not like allergic or anything, right? No, you're not no. Gonna throw it was, a, here it was an this. isolated incident, but I didn't eat peanut butter for like five years. But now I'm totally on the train. Okay, this is number one. Mmm. Oh, I think this is Justin's. I was just going to say that. Mm-hmm. Okay. This tastes natural. Mm-hmm. It has, like, a little bit of a crunchy, tiny texture, and it has um, no sweetness to it. Even the, even the consistency of it and the look of it, you can see a little bit of the oil separating. So I think that's more of the, the Justin's. Can we can we look yeah. and confirm, Betsy? Yep. Justin's, okay, number we were both one. Right. Yeah. Justin's. Here, grab right. the Justin's. Let's put it behind here. This is fun. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Okay, let's go like this. Do you like that? All right. Okay, we'll do that. Now, I think these are going to get a little harder because um, these kind of have similar consistency. That's here. real, real smooth. Mmm. Right. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. I can see why it's hard to leave processed peanut butter. <laughs> It is very good, you guys. That's either Jeff or Skippy, don't you think? Or it's well, that's one. No, that's, I think that's that's not going to be the white chocolate, the peanut butter and white chocolate. Where's come, the peanut butter and white chocolate? I'm guessing it's that one. Wait, what, like, which option is peanut butter and that peanut one? Butter and peanut, peanut butter, butter and Peanut butter and co. co has white chocolate? Yeah, it's oh. white chocolate. Oh, it's white chocolate flavor. Okay. Okay. Can we, I, I'm we just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait for that one because well, that's a goober. Jiffer, Skippy. This yeah, one that's is the goober. That's the goober. We're just gonna go ahead and grab that one and put that one right. I don't like that. Mm -mm. I would say, you don't like that? No. Why? Because that jelly is not good. It's mm. like very, um, jelly y? Jelly y. It's no. Okay, it's a little sugary, but I, <laughs> like, it's kind of an extra treat in I there. I don't know. I don't like the texture of that jelly. Mm. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. <laughs> I'm all ready for the jelly. Okay. okay? okay. Well, yeah, all that's right. you. That's all right, you. so let's, let's go with this one. All right. So let me tell you this. What? As we're eating this peanut butter, uh -huh. you threw up in Target. Oh, yeah. One of my fondest memories is um, growing up in high school. So my mom always made us a little little brown bag lunch instead of the, eating the hot lunch there. That's the white chocolate one. Keep going. This is the white chocolate. I figured it was because you can almost like see the it's the, the flex in there. Okay. Yeah. Um, I bet you I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, sandwich with Doritos in the middle three times a week. No lunch. way. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. You put the Dor what kind of Doritos? You guys don't not cool ranch, please. No, nacho cheese, classic Doritos, and you put it in between, and you smush it down with the bread, and you hear the crunch, and you're like, oh, just give me all that. You just want to like take it and make it a big ball and just eat Ew, it. Oh, really? Don't really mean you guys. <laughs> That Dude, is was that your, okay. That been your mom's idea. That's delicious. okay. That's excellent. Yeah, this is wonderful. I'd like to go in for a second bite of this one. What's in this one? Don't tell me. Is this it is that? white chocolatey wonderful. Uh, it's true. Yeah, it's peanuts blended with vanilla and cocoa butter for a yummy white chocolatey flavor. I think that's excellent. I you guys. love that. Okay, this is going to be the tricky one because it's down between GIF or JIF <laughs> and Skippy and because they the they are natural competitors yep. and they make very similar products. Do you think they just can't stand each other? Oh yeah, they hate the each other. The JIF people and the Skippy people, if they met in a dark alley. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go with my first instinct. I'm going to say this is the Skippy. Like really? Yeah, I don't Hold know. On. That Skippy, try this one one more time. I'm just going to go ahead and put it there. We can switch it. That one has more peanutty flavor, for sure, than this one. They both have a really good texture. The smoothness. I know is the off smoothness the is great. You are you are right. That one has kind of a more of a mild flavor okay. of peanut butter. So this right. one definitely is more peanut butter, butter forward. We were wrong. Oh no! We're okay. Wrong. All right. 
switch well, them. It's and it's not that big of a deal because they're both they're both good. Oh, I but think right. I like Jiff better. But, I think I but like But you're right. Jif. I never realized that Jiff has more of a true peanut butter taste. Yeah, it tastes Did more. Did you guys know that? Maybe you guys knew that. I didn't know that. Oh man, boy. Okay. Okay, okay so we're going to rank them, right? Um, yeah, yeah, I think we should. Well, I would go, this is my favorite of all of them. I love that. I love, like, that little bit of white chocolate mm -hmm. is so, so good. And then I would probably go, I might go Justin's, Jif, Skippy, this is the worst. Well, I disagree. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do, Goober Great Guy? I agree with you on the peanut butter and co. That is so good. That's number one, huh? That's number one. Interesting. This is funny. I think I'm going to go with the GIF number two, just because it's classic. It's classic, and it has that nice butter peanut butter taste. Yeah, it's good. Then I'll go with this one mm -hmm. because I I do like I do appreciate the natural peanut butter. I know I do too, and it's got a little bit of texture, which is satisfying. Yeah. Like that's yeah. good on toast. Then I'm going Goober's fourth. Sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, just it's efficiency. You don't need the jelly. You just it's one scoop, one big ladle. It's bad jelly on your bread, and you you smear it on there. Then I'm gonna go Skippy last. Skippy's last. last. Skippy's last because it's just. Um, it's just, it's just too, just there, there. It's not like, it doesn't really punch you in the mouth with peanut butter. Interesting. All right, all right, there you go. And did you notice that we both did the, the spoon flip? I know. Is that the proper way? I think so. Is that the proper way for eating peanut butter? I think that's probably the same amount of peanut butter I'm gonna do I something ate on that I'm going to do something real crazy. Butter. I'm going to eat it like this. Ew. Oh, mm -mm. Not as good. No. That goes all on the roof of your mouth? Mm -mm. Let's wash the peanut butter down with some tea, shall we? So Let's do that. We are celebrating Brooklyn Park all week long. It is the focus of TCL in your town. Thanks, friends. Uh, these are from Oh My Sweet Tea. Boy, we got a lot of Look at this. trays. This, I feel like this, this is like, like a, we're a in pit the crew. Hospital. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, so Oh My Sweet Tea is a bubble tea and cafe in Brooklyn Park. And when mm -hmm. we celebrate these towns through TCL in your town, we like to find all these little hidden gems and give them a try. So they've got sweet treats, they have slushies, waffles, and then they also have bubble tea. So we have some different varieties to try from Oh My Sweet okay, Tea. Okay, so starting starting on your in, on your side, you have Strawburst, which is strawberry mango green tea. I do love these oh, giant wow. straws. Holy aggressiveness. And it's like, they're just so <laughs> fun, you gotta go boom. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, this one is orange peach. Orange peach. Uh, this is the white rabbit snow, which is strawberry popping boba. Oh my gosh, there's bunnies on the top. Uh, oh my gosh, there are bunnies Look. on the top. And this is the white rabbit milk tea. Uh, I don't know. I guess I guess we're gonna try them all, right? Yeah, it's not like we have to be selective. No, about them, right? we're gonna try them. This is the strawberry, strawberry mango green Wait, tea. Wait, what's more? Mm -hmm. Oh, I got poked through. Okay, I was kind of confused there because that was wimpy. You had to get aggressive about. Well, it. I didn't know that there was another another. There we go. Ooh, this one's fun and refreshing. Is it? It's very nice and refreshing, and it tastes like real strawberry like. Mm. I love the little hint of green tea, and I often think that green tea is the worst of the teas, but I actually really like that. That's very, very nice. you think green tea is the worst of the teas? Like to drink hot? I don't really love green tea. And like, I don't like matcha, you know? I got mm. a hard time with that. It's probably- I got a hard time with matcha too. Everybody says it's so good, but I think it's just, it's too long of a process and it doesn't taste very good. Okay, orange peach tea. Okay, this has a lot of stuff going on in here. I think you're supposed to stir it, right? Because don't you I wanna... hope so, because it is definitely layered. Yeah, I love um, those little like bubbles in the bottom. Okay. Ooh, I... Well, that's interesting. I know. I kind of like that. Me too. See, these aren't too sweet. These because that's nice. there's actually an, a real orange peel I in there. No, very citrusy and delicious. Mm -hmm. These are real refreshing. I like this. Now, these with the bunny on the top are kind of aggressive, but I'm here for it. And you realize that you just kind of did, did a little bit of an Elaine Bettis to me, like when you say, like, <laughs> "Oh my gosh." Sorry. Mm. Wait. Mm. What was that? It has strawberry boba. popping boba in there. I know, but it was like long. Yeah, this is like a real. It, like the boba's supposed to be like the little bubbles, right? Yeah. The little balls? Yeah. yeah. What Maybe. I just had was like long and Maybe. rectangle. Okay. Yeah, Maybe you got a couple of them. <laughs> couple of them. That was like a little of a surprise, you guys. Okay. And then the white rabbit milk tea. Now that one's very much more milkshakey, so like I'm sort of intrigued by that. But I want to know. Oh, you want to see what the uh, the rabbit guy looks like? Is because I think. I don't know. <laughs> I like how I do, I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Is that just is, take 
That's take it treating. off and, and maybe just have it as an extra treat. I just murdered this bunny with a straw <laughs> yeah. right through the spine. That's intriguing. Yeah. Oh, you know what? At first I thought I didn't like it, but now I think I do. That's very intriguing. I got another line that one of those long. Are there just long pieces of boba in there? Oh, this Are is you good. getting those? I like this one very, very much. I think oh, it's because it's, you shot, oh, through, I the shot bunny. it through the bunny. It's the bunny. It's the bunny. Good call, Lauren. Lauren, our producer, ear. is in our ear, and she's like, you dummies. She didn't mm -hmm. say that, but she was thinking mm -hmm. it. It's the bunny. Well, I'm sure all of you at home were thinking the same thing. Like, you idiot. What a fun place. Okay, so Oh My Sweet Tea, Bubble Tea and Cafe in Brooklyn Park. I would go check this place out. I, I think it's The strawberry is my favorite. Really fun. Thanks, That's you really fun. Good job, you guys. Loving was... our Twin Cities Live in your town. And speaking of that, you can join us Friday. Uh, we'll give you all the details on that coming up later in the show. After the break. Yeah, after the break, our National Peanut Butter Day celebrations roll on with three tasty desserts, including brownies with an unexpected topping. Mm. Look at that spread. <laughs>